Welcome to this week's video tutorial. Today I would like to show you how you can open an Instant Atlas report with specific settings. For example, you might wish to open your report on a particular indicator and date, which is different from the default one. Or you might want to have one or more specific geography features selected, or a filter applied when the report opens. You can even point the report to a different style sheet, which will be used when the report launches. All this is done by passing on parameters in the URL which will only work when the report is up on a web server. I will show you how all this works with this demo report from the Instant Atlas website. I will also open the relevant user guide which tells you how the syntax for these URL parameters has to look like. You can find this user guide on the Instant Atlas website under Support, Developer Zone, and here you see that link including parameters in an Instant Atlas report URL. If I follow this link, a PDF document will open. This document lists all the different URL parameters that I can use to open my report with a particular setting. At first I want to show you how I can open the report with a specific indicator and time period selected. And I jump to this section of the user guide, which tells me how that will work. Here I see the syntax. At first I need a URL to my report. I have this already in the URL bar here, and it ends with atlas.html. After that, I need to type a question mark and the word indicator equals. I will copy this bit out of the user guide into my URL bar. Now the user guide tells me that I need the indicator ID for that indicator that I want to have opened when the report starts. The IDs for the indicators get generated when the data.xml file gets exported from the Excel or Access Data Manager. So I will find the IDs of the indicators in the data.xml file. This here is a copy of the report on my local drive, and in here I can open the data.xml file in a text editor. If I scroll down, I will eventually see the list of all themes and indicators that are used in the report. And I can also see that each indicator has an ID. Now if I, for example, want to open the report with the indicator income support claimants, I need the indicator ID I3. So I copy this out of here and into my URL. If this indicator would have no time period, then that would be enough. And I could just hit enter and the report would open. But since this indicator has five different time periods, the report wouldn't know which one to use, so it would throw an error. I would need to define also which time period it shall open. The user guide tells me that I need to add an ampersand and then the word date and equals. So I copy that again into the report and now need just to define which date I want it to be opened. So I want it to show data from 2005. I hit enter and the report starts and this time I will see the indicator income support claimants in the year 2005. You can see that that is the case in the title bar here. Now I want to show you how you can open the report with one or more geography features selected. For example, it might be that you want the word Rampton to be selected when you open your report. Have a look again at the user guide, scroll down to the section that describes how to do that, and have a look at the syntax. So after the report URL, again a question mark, and then the word select equals. Copy that out into my URL. And then it says the feature ID. If I don't know my feature ID, I can look it up in the file called Geography CSV. And here I see all the codes and names of my base geography that I used, and I can simply search for the word that I'm looking for. This is the ID. I copy it out here and paste it into my URL. 
hitting enter. And the report opens now with exactly the Rampton ward selected. I would also be able to choose several different wards here. So if I want to add another feature ID, I could simply do that by adding a comma and then the ID of that feature. The third URL parameter I want to introduce to you is how you can open your report with a specific filter value applied. In this report, I have only one filter called districts with several filter values. So for example, I want to open this report with the men's field district applied. This report even zooms to the filtered value. So I go to the user guide and I scroll down to the section. And I find the syntax here. And it says question mark filter equals, then the filter ID and the filter value. So I copy this bit out of the user guide and into my URL. The filter ID is again something that I can find in my data.xml file. It is located directly above the theme list. Here I have the filter list and it lists all the filters that are available in my report. In this example, it's just one called district and it has the ID filter four. So I take this and copy it out into my URL and type in a comma, then men's field district. That is space. When I do that, the report opens with a specific filter applied and it zooms to that area. If you have an alternative style sheet which you want to use to open your report, you can also do this with URL parameters. My folder structure on the web server is quite similar to the one that I have here locally. And if I go one, two folders up, I have another folder here called style sheets. This contains a selection of other style sheets that I could use for my report. So, for example, I would want this report to be opened with this pink style sheet called default pink2.css. Let's see what the user guide says about the syntax. Here we have the part about the style sheet. So, we need the URL to the report, a question mark, style equals, and then the path to the style sheet minus a file extension. The file extension is a bit .css, so we need to leave that away in the, in the path. I copy the question mark style equals bit out of here, paste it into my URL, and now I need to type in the relative path to that style sheet file. So I need to go up two folders, dot dot slash for one folder, dot dot slash for the second folder. Now the name of the folder where the style sheet sits in, which is called style sheets and then the style sheet name without the .css. If I do this and the report loads again, it loads with a pink style sheet. If you want to combine two or more of the URL parameters, you can also do this by sim simply adding them together into the URL and using an ampersand as a delimiter. So, for example, if I want my pink style sheet to be applied at the previous report that I also opened with a specific filter, then I can do that. And I will show you how that works by simply copying this URL parameter for the style sheet out of the URL. I go back one step in my browser so that it opens again the report with a specific filter for Mansfield District. And now I can simply add an ampersand and paste my style sheet parameter at the end, hit enter, and both URL parameters will be applied. The report will open with a filter in place and the pink style sheet loaded. I hope this little video gives you an idea how URL parameters work. The user guide will give you some more information about what you can do. For example, you can open your Instant Atlas report with a specific configuration file loaded or with a specific base geography selected if the report contains multi-geographies. If you have any questions regarding URL parameters, please do not hesitate to contact the support team via support at geowides.co.uk.